What's good, my DV fam? Shout out to my subscribers. You already know the deal with that. Y'all ain't know me in this piece, man. This your boy G Chase back with another video, man. Um, as everybody know that New England are the defending champs, man. They won their fifth Super Bowl ring against the Atlanta Falcons live from um the NRG Arena um stadium in Houston, Texas. Um, my thoughts. Um, I know my DV fam tried to get me in last night. They all they called me and, and, and invited me on all calibers. Um, I was going through some situations here at the crib, some personal situations. Um, on this moving situation, cause I supposed to be we supposed to be moving soon. Um, when taxes come in and taxes are done. Um, I I truly apologize for that. Now that we got that out the way, I didn't do that intentionally, y'all. Just going through some shit here at the house, trying to fix shit. Um. I do want to tip my hat off to them Falcon boys. They did not lay down. Um, yeah, they shot themselves in the foot at the end. Defense, I'm referring to. Um, but um, in the end, man, Tom Brady came out on top, man, as usual. Um, you know, shout out to Tom Brady. I hate to even do that shit because I know Ray Moore laughing at me when he see this fucking video. You guys did great. I mean, y'all couldn't protect y'all. Y'all couldn't stop their run game in the first half. That's what killed y'all. That's what got a lot of them. That's what got them in scoring opportunities to score. Um, but and again, y'all switched. Y'all hit the switch on defense after the half, and y'all just came out blazing. After that, um, hats off to the Falcons. Y'all came in, y'all fought, but definitely um, salute to them Patriots boys, man. Y'all did y'all thing, man. Um, other than that, man. Um, it was a great game. Only thing I hate about the Super Bowl was that gay ass halftime performance by Lady Gaga. That was the weakest fucking performance I ever seen. Shit, <sighs> that shit was garbage, man. I thought the bitch was about to kill herself. She flat on the fucking two thin ass ropes like this bitch weighed ninety pounds and shit. She's about to fall off that motherfucker. Um, other than that, it was a close game. It was a well fought game, man. Both teams came out that mud guns drawn, man, ready to fucking fight, man. Salute to both of them teams, man. They came out and played the ass off. Um, be, I'm gonna I'm gonna end this video. Um, it's gonna be probably midway through because I'm about to get a game at 2K. Probably two games, man. Um, I've been playing my 2K my career, man. 2017 or uh, 2K17. I'm sorry. Um, I did get drafted by the Kings, but then I got traded to Detroit. Um, it was a good look, man. Um, I always want to play for my hometown team. I always want to bring a championship to them, and I think I'm about to do that this year, man. Um. They got a pretty decent record. I ain't gonna say it's decent because um we we thirteen and eight. I mean the, the last time they lost was before I got here, and when I got here, that losing sheet that losing streak shit stopped. So um we on a we on a like eight game winning streak right now because they was eight and eight. Um no we oh, I'm sorry we we sixteen and eight. I'm sorry because it was um no we more than that. Thir no thirteen fourteen. No so I'm sorry I'm mixing shit up. It's fourteen and eight. We on a eight game winning streak. And um, we've been balling, man. Um, cause they were seven and eight when I got here. They was like low and shit. So I helped them out, brought them back. Um, I'm gonna keep pushing with these guys. Um, I might resign with them next year. I might come back next season and start and do it again. Um, just cause they my hometown team. Um, shout out to them guys. Shout out to them boys, man. Um, they gotta get their shit together though in the, in the regular season. This season is going on now. They gotta get their shit together. Um, Stan Van Gundy gotta find some type of situation. He got to force some type of authority in the locker room because I don't think there's no authority in the locker room. I think I, I think everybody just playing for themselves. Everybody's not playing for the man next to him or with the man next to him. They kind of like on their own and venturing off. I hate to see teams like that. When I see teams like that, it shows me that we can't even hold our own. So. Um, Stanley got to get his shit together, man. Real talk, get your shit together. Um, I know we ain't making the playoffs this year. Pretty sure we not. We got to make some trades in the off season. We got to make some moves. We got to get. We got to play our draft picks. Stan Van Gundy, play your draft picks, please, because you don't. Um, I'm I'm excited to see what the Lions do. I'm kind of nervous because um they did say um Anquan Bowden is really probably leaning really towards retiring. He wants to return, but. He's really leaning towards retirement. Um, that's gonna kill me if he does because he is a great player, and we're gonna have to draft now. We're gonna have to if he goes, we're gonna have to draft two more wide receivers. That could be they, they, we're gonna have to have two decent wide receivers that that could compare to him. That could just be him as one, and that's almost hard to do. You know what I'm saying with the draft and 
you know, you get so many great wide receivers taken in the first round. You get your Randy Mosses, your Calvin Johnsons, and all of and Aquan Bolt was taken in the first round or, or a second or third, and then you got to worry about four, fifth, or sixth, and by then you getting either decent or a bust wide receiver. So you got to be careful. I'm pretty sure Bob Quinn got his hand on things and got his and, and got his eyes on things. And I don't know why people would be scared to come here. I would love to come here to a team that's that 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 fight for everything and don't have no don't get no respect. Cause then when I bust somebody ass and we we win a, a Super Bowl or something like that, we win a championship. They'd be like, oh yeah, well we thought they weren't gonna be nothing. Oh yeah, we thought they was gonna be this. We thought we thought they was gonna be that, and blah blah blah. And they came out and proved us wrong, and blah blah blah. You know, we we want teams to come. We want to be on. We want teams to respect us. We want the league to respect us. Cause right now, the league don't respect us. The, the the other teams don't respect us. I bet you when they look on and see Detroit, they get happy, like we about to go in and bust ass. And that ain't what we want to be remembered. Like we want to be remembered. Coming in this, coming in this place, and, and showing ass and making everybody else look bad. You know, we want to, we want to get our respect. We want to fight for our respect. We don't want our respect given to us. We want to fight for it, and that's what we do. And we still don't get it, even how hard we fight. So, um, uh, again, shout out to my DV fam, man. I know they was in the podcast giving it up, man. They was trying to get me in. I wanted to be in there so bad. It was just some issues going on here. I had to iron out first. Um, to my fans, um, salute to y'all and my fam, man. I truly appreciate you guys listening to me. I know y'all be like, damn, when D Chase gonna drop another video, man? It's been like two, three weeks, so it's been like almost a month. He ain't dropped no video yet. Y'all gotta bear with me, man. I'm in the midst of looking for a new job. I'm in the midst of moving, uh, looking for a place to move. I'm in the midst of, um, you know, family, family time and all that stuff mixed in, man. You know, I'm just trying to get my shit together, man, so I can have it all in one big ball, man, so that way I can get the ball rolling and everything. But I, I just ain't my last. This ain't last that you're going to see of me, man. You're going to see more of me until they put me six feet in some dirt, man. That's the only way you won't see me no more. But um, I do want to give um shout-out to them Patriots again, man. Tom Brady did your thing. You got five. You up there looking like Jordan right now. You're about to be. You about to be Jordan in the fucking NFL. Six fucking rings with the same team. So, um, with that said, man, um, this your boy, D-Chase. I'm going to make this video kind of short because I do want to get a game, man. I'm going to holler at y'all later. Uh, peace out, man. DVE fam, man. Our fam is so big right now. I will be throwing shout-outs here and there, but I'm going to shout-out my whole DB fam. Y'all know who y'all are, man. Everybody know who they is, man. Um, this your boy, D-Chase. I'm out. Peace and love, man. I'm out.